Yeah. Okay. To be as informative as possible. I'm gonna explain the one. Green smite is OP. Tenacity plus the shield is good in like every matchup. The other two, the other two smites, blue smite and red smite, are more situational. Green smite's good in every matchup because the shield's always useful no matter what. And most teams have at least some kind of hard CC that makes tenacity worth it. Why green smite is so good right now? So if you're playing and you're trying hard in preseason for whatever reason, big green smite until it gets nerfed next patch, then it might not be as good. But for now, green smite is super OP. And then rune-wise, lethal tempo is really good for late game if you're doing on-hit builds, which you should be doing in most of the tanky matchups in the first place, because the late, mid to late game attack speed and attack range is really, really nice because it lets you put out insane amounts of DPS, and the range can be really good for catching people or kiting backwards and stuff. It's really good. And the only other real rune that's important is cut down because against bruisers and things, cut down is insanely good because anything that like mages, bruisers, tanks, they all get more HP than you unless you're building like cleaver and things. So you end up getting a lot of damage out of this. Like you'll get more damage out of this than you will like PTA and stuff a lot of games out of just cut down alone. And then for clearing, I normally smite the Krug because it, you know, Krugs take forever anyways because they have to split and do the split animation. So the faster you get them to do the split animation, the better. And go to chickens, get big chicken down to like 300 or 250 HP, get it into that ballpark of a health um, range. The reason you do that is once it's that low, you then focus the little um, chickens with your last two Q resets or your last Q reset, however many you get. And while you're focusing the little chickens, your jungle pet pretty much kills the big chicken to the point where you can just kite it away like this. And save yourself time. Then for wolf, because you have your E now, you just kind of focus the big wolf till you get it to like half HP. Once you get it to half HP, you use your E on it, because your E does more damage the lower the HP it is. And then you do that, and the big wolf dies. You can focus the little wolves while you're heading it away, and then the little wolves die. You can still kind of kite blue like you used to, too, over the wall, because the blue does have a little um, range thing here. And once it gets over here, you can just kite it back, and then it will reset a little bit, but it won't regain enough HP, and you take almost no damage from it. And you'll because of your healing on your W and stuff, you'll pretty much stay full HP while killing it. Like, even with the leash range changes, you still stay pretty much full HP in the uh, jungle as long as you kite. And same with Gromp, you just kind of pull it edge to edge. And then once it's low enough, like around here, you can then just use your E on it, because again, your E does more damage the lower the health something is. And boom, it's dead. Woo, you full clear your jungle, you're nearly full HP, and then you can go to crab and you still have a smite left. If you don't want to kite as much, that's fine, but you will, uh, if the less you kite, the more damage, obviously, you're going to take. I'm probably dead here. That's fine. I got a double mark there. Unfortunately, both my solo laners let their laners walk out of lane, but that's not a big deal. I got a kill there. It's not a big deal at all. Then I got my noon quiver. Alright, so because I got the kill and I got the noon quiver, there's still 50 seconds till dragon spawn. So what I'm going to do is because my chickens and my krugs are going to spawn before dragons d uh, does, I'm going to go kill my chickens and my krugs. I'm going to get level 5 and then I'm going to most likely go towards dragon because Belvis also pathing towards bot side of the map right now. So Belvis should clear the camps and either gank bot lane or push towards the top side of the map. So it's pretty much guaranteed that I'll know where she's at before I do dragon and I'll have the extra level. Those chickens are about to spawn too. I wanna kill do I wanna kill Yone while I wait? Eh. I could probably go kill him, but I I'm gonna grab this first. Yep, there's Belvis gonna gang spot lane. Alright, so this is at least one free kill down here. As I said, it was at least one free kill down there. So now that Bell's dead, Bell's gonna path towards top side obviously now because I killed the, uh, or because she killed her bot side jungle and went for the gank, so this is free. Yone is diving my mid laner, got snared under shirt, and dies. Alright. Now I'm gonna reset. 
Go spend my gold and go towards top side jungle. Woo! I'm gonna be greedy though and wait the 30 gold for this. Alright. Get my pickaxe. Boss of the pot. I mean, fair. I'm assuming you did Bork and stuff on uh, Nico because I remember people used to play AD Nico top and stuff a lot bef um, before Nico got a few nerfs because of her passive on hit damage with Bork and things. I remember when people used to. Alright, though. So I'm gonna kill my wolves. Instead of going to my Gromp, I'm going towards bot side because my um, red's gonna spawn in 10 seconds. This is my Krugs, so I'll get the same or more XP going towards bot side here. And I know that I can snowball off of bot side pretty heavily right now. Okay, so because Belveth killed the um, raptors, yeah, the Gromp's alive. And she killed her Gromp whenever I did dragon, so that had the mark there. Because there's no Scuttle alive yet, and she killed the raptor mark. Means I just go here. Well, I didn't expect her blue to be up, though. I don't know. I didn't, I, I didn't expect her to leave that up. Okay. I'm gonna grab this, then. And because her chicken should potentially still be dead, um, the I think they'll still be dead for 40 seconds. The fourth mark's gonna spawn on the crab down here. I'm gonna mark Pike. Mantheon? Okay. Mantheon with just a clean dodge? I'm dead here? Am I dead? He has to use our E now to live. Yeah, no, she's dead. <laughs> Alright, well, there's no fourth mark anymore because, uh, um, fortunately, I got the fourth mark too early. And it's coming over here. I'm gonna go for the fifth mark. It's really greedy to do, but I'm gonna do it anyways. All right, so now, because I know her red's up, she should, keyword should, because she's a weirdo, be going towards topside and clearing red and her um, topside camps. So either she's going to kill Krugs in time or Krugs are going to mark. If she kills Krugs in time, then neither of these two camps can mark and nothing can mark until the um, until the wolves respawn. But if she's a weirdo and skipping her Krugs, then Krugs will mark. It's, it's kind of 50-50 on that. I'm not forcing this. I refuse to force that. I'm not giving Yone a kill. He's coming back over here. Alrighty. Okay, she didn't kill her Krugs. All right, now get my Kraken in this kind of a game because auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, AD. I'm going Tabby this game for the defensive boost. The value is too good. You can queue over most walls. You just have to know the spot. Um, I could run straight up there. I kill this on the way up, at least. I can skip the buff. I need to actually check the Herald just because it is a Belveth, and Belveths play a lot like Shivana's. Where, yep. But I meant they they play a lot like Shivana's. When I say they play a lot like Shivana's, what they do is they almost always go for Heralds off spawn and things because of their passive. So the wolves just respawned. The wolves are going to mark in a second, but I'm not going all the way over there for that. I'm just going to shell you over here. 
Unless the LNA took the woes, which is possible too. Shelly, stop farming. Uh, Shelly! You're walking further away from the turret, Shelly. Yep, okay, somebody's on the wolves that's slightly displaced in the map. My cannon. Oh, Pike's here. Oh, they both flashed after me. <laughs> they were very greedy there. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't go for Drake, though, and came and contest that turret. I'll take it. All right, because they're not super tanky yet, I'm going to go for Ravenous instead of Wit Second, then I'll go Wit Second at, or Wit Third. If they were tankier, I would go for Wit Second for the, um, obviously if they had more armor for the on-hit magic damage to get through the armor. But because they're squishier, I'm going to be going for Ravenous. Got a champ that I don't even stream. I mean, fair. Sometimes, even if it's somebody not playing something, you can learn a lot from somebody's experience playing against things. Alright, so they never finished killing those wolf camps, because you can see the marks displaced on the map and not where the camp actually spawned, but they got off the camp instead of killing it. Which, it might have been Yone queuing it just to get a um, stack on his queue. That's a possibility of why it's displaced. It should be dead by now because Belveth should have taken it. It's not dead yet. Belveth, where are you? Did I just see a Belveth at the blue? Did I just see a Belveth outline over here? I did. I thought so. All right, kill the vein. Mind you, chat, this is like the most tryhardy Kindred gameplay you're getting from me in a while because I said I would do I, I would do one informative how I play Kindred and talk it through. <laughs> this is like the one tryhardy game you're getting from me for a while because I hate tryharding in preseason. So I should get a treat here by the time I finish clearing all three of my top side camps, which will give me my full spot on the thing. None can hide. Actually, will I get a treat in time? Hmm. I don't know if the treats are... I know that's like once every minute, but I don't know if it's once every minute from when you buy it or once every minute. Wait, okay, no, I did get the treat. Okay. okay so yeah, now I get my full Moss Stomper. So now I got Tenacity and a Shield. Very useful, always. How long will we be together? Why am I building Ravenous? Because Ravenous is the most OP AD item in the game. On every champion that's an AD champion, that's any form of a carry. <laughs> it can give you up to a hundred. Oh, they forfeited. All right, well, there you go, chat. There's my informative of how I play Kindred. Take it or leave it, that's up to you. I hope that helps somebody. I don't know if it did. <laughs> I hope it helped one of you guys. But Ravenous is like the most OP AD item in the game. There's like not an item that even comes close right now. Well, Death Stance, maybe. But Ravenous is just incredibly OP, unlike anything. Wait, there we go. Most damage in the game. Here's build stuff. So I was gonna go ravenous, then wits, and then somebody's gonna ask what full build is. If the, if I wanted to go in that game because there was four tanky people, I would have probably gone frozen heart, and then the last item would have been whatever I wanted really. Maybe Bork because they have Cassante and things that are gonna have HP. 
Yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's how I play Kindred. There's runes and things. <laughs>